Hello, this is Jim Stagg, BBC Stagg Custom Homes, just reporting to you Sunday, on my way to the airport, Sunday the 25th, I think it is, on my way to the airport to pick up my lost luggage. Kind of weird how that happens. It's the first time it's ever happened to me. Kind of waited a couple hours yesterday and all of a sudden nothing came in. But anyways, I wanted to throw you out a message, send this all to my brothers at Warrior Week. I just got back from Warrior Week. A couple of things that I wanted to get off my chest right off the bat. Number one, some things that I learned from Warrior Week is clarity. Uh, I, it's hard for me to explain, but I I have so much clarity right now. I'm, (laughs) I'm at about a 10,000 view of what's going on with my life, where I'm at, where I want to go. Um, and the other thing is balance making sure that I'm balancing things out using the blueprints and the maps that Garrett J. White gave to us and um, it was a very, very inspirational school. It was really fun. It was a good time. Good camp, good people, touched the lives of a lot of people. Um, Also, a lot of people touched the lives of me, the gang, the, the brotherhood, the band of brotherhood that we got in there. The seven other guys were absolutely amazing. Couple from Calif- uh, couple from Arizona. We had a couple uh, from South Carolina. Had one from Austin, Texas, little Ryan, and um, had a couple guys from Seattle who were studs, big studs. Uh, Jesse and Luca, Luca, very impressive, very impressive to see him work out and how how uh, how smart that guy is about everything when it comes to your cell phone. But. One last thing I want to touch on is being able to touch the lives of different people. Yesterday I got home about 7 o'clock. I was going to go to the volleyball game because I know I missed it. Uh, But I thought by the time I get there, they're going to be all done playing. So I went out to eat with my wife. When I was done, went to downtown Verado. When I was done, we uh, got out in the vehicle. I had a little note on my windshield. And it said... Hey, Coach, missed you tonight at the game. By the way, we took first place. Grace. That really made me feel good. It really makes makes me understand why I do what I do to touch the, touch the lives of kids, touch the lives of people. Um, that was pretty profound for her to write that and put, it, put that on my windshield. They were, they were going for ice cream, a celebratory ice cream. To because they won. I'm so proud, proud to be involved with such incredible people, be able to touch the, the lives of certain people, touch the lives of people that we've got on our volleyball club. I thought that was very, very thoughtful of Grace to do that. And I, 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 the only message here that, I, that I'm trying to, to put out with touching the lives of people is that every day you've got an opportunity when you wake up. you got an opportunity to touch the lives of somebody else and see what kind of a difference you can make in that individual's lives. So my legacy that I leave behind or anything that I do in the future, I want to try to get as many people that I can touch as possible to maybe make an impact or an influence or change something in their lives. And I think we all have that opportunity to do that every day when we wake up. So, signing off, Jim Stegg. Yes, it's, I'm driving. I shouldn't be video and driving. I get that. But I have hands free, so uh, my eyes are on the road. But anyways, I want to say congratulations to my little 12 navies. I'm excited to see you guys. Um, you guys did awesome. Thanks a lot, Coach Mike, for helping them out. I'm so proud and so happy when I heard that. You guys took first place. It did bring me to tears. And I know it last night brought me to tears also. It's awesome that these young kids did so well. They've come so far. It's really, really cool. So, signing off, Jim Stegg. Make a difference in someone else's life every day. Out. Ciao.